from our trip to Japan last December, but we had a month long trip to see family in Toronto quickly after. So these have been lying around waiting to be unpacked for over a month. Uh, normally, I wouldn't have the self control not to just open it, but I really wanted to do it with you guys. And I really did not have a choice. Um, but it's fun because at this point, what's inside this bag is basically a surprise for the both of us because I have already forgotten half the things I bought from the Traveler's Factory stores in Tokyo and Kyoto. So grab your coffee or tea and some snacks because this is going to take a while. In fact, I think I'll make a separate video for the washi tapes because I really don't want to make this an hour long. Let's start with these wrapped purchases. So, tip number one when going to the Traveler's Factory stores, make sure to have something wrapped. I'm not sure I have any other tips, but that's number one. Um, because just look at the... If you are a journaler like myself, which you probably are if you're watching this video, it just means more paper, more ephemera, more stickers. They let you choose which stickers to use and so I chose different ones. If you're also purchasing a new traveler's notebook, like the leather notebook, make sure to have that wrapped. They will put an extra leather tag. You can definitely use it as a charm or a tag for your traveler's notebook. I'm not sure whether they choose a color depending on the color of the leather cover that you chose. Oh, this one's brown. I can see through here. Um, this is actually Kevin's. So aside from this one, I don't recall, I can't remember what else I have here. So we're going to be opening them right now. I have to make sure to keep all the ephemera, the sticker safe so that I can use them again. Like This one's so nice. Okay. remember oh okay so I got this little travelers factory pouch canvas pouch I think this is leather um, I don't think it fits the passport size travelers notebook I can try but it's definitely functional for bringing like tools with you when you're traveling I have my travelers notebook here Oh, it does. It fits. Snugly, but it fits. So I got it in this nice green color. Okay, let's open another one. I got the passport size. 2023 weekly insert I actually purchased some of the 2023 inserts already here in Canada from Wonder Pens but I wasn't able to get this one I was a little late I really like the theme for this year because it's coffee and notebooks comes with all these like cute stickers let's put that back Open another one. I think this is a tote bag. Yep. put it up here so you have a better view of the tote bag it's really cute I got really excited actually when I first saw their tote bags because they were selling them for 500 600 700 yen which is about five Canadian dollars five to seven Canadian dollars and even less 
if you're from the US, it's probably around four to six US dollars, which is really cheap. The only other tote bag that I have from Traveler's Factory, I got from a partner store in Vancouver and I got it for around $19, which is regular price I find for tote bags, but not if you're buying them from Japan, which is really cheap. So uh, you'll probably see in the other bag that I got more than one tote um, for that price. It's so worth it, especially because it's, um, I think it's a limited edition that you can only get from the Kyoto location. Okay, let's open this one here. I think this is an insert and some stationery, some stickers and the Tokyo Station insert. These are just blank pages, so I'm not going to open that, but you can only get this from the Tokyo Station. We were able to go to two locations in Tokyo, which is the Tokyo Station and the Nakameguro location. And we were also able to go to the one in Kyoto, but the one in Narita is still closed. So that's the only one we were not able to go to. We also got some letterpress stickers. I have a problem whenever I get some stickers from Traveler's Factory because I never want to use them. These ones all the more because they're so pretty. They're so cute. Look at that. Very nice. And finally, we have the Traveler's Notebook here. This is actually Kevin's. I mentioned this in a previous video that Kevin, my husband, was actually the one who got me into Traveler's Factory Notebooks, Traveler's Notebook. Um, at that time, it was still called Midori, Midori. But he never bought one for himself. Well, until now, he hasn't bought one for himself. He's been using a leather notebook that I think he got from Etsy. But when we were in Japan, he finally, why is this so hard? He finally was able to get one. And he got one in brown. I'm gonna cut this. I'm just gonna open that quickly. There. I'm not gonna open this one anymore because you already know what that looks like inside. But I'm gonna put this here inside. So that's it for the gift wrap purchases we're gonna move on to whatever's inside this paper bag so there's no system to this one it's all gonna be random i bought a bunch of pouches so this is similar to the um insert that we saw earlier i also bought this yellow like mustard one it's also a pouch for your traveler's notebook or for whatever that you want to use a pouch for but I'm probably going to be using it for a traveler's notebook. Perfect. I love this color. We are going to start with the tote bags, which I mentioned earlier, I got a bunch of. So this pile is actually a combination of tote bags and some canvas pouches. I don't know what I need all these canvas pouches for, but they were selling for about 200 to 400 yen which is about two to four dollars and that's a really good price so i had to buy them i think they had a line traveler's factory had a line that was all hokutose i don't know if i'm reading that right hokutose which is a sleeper train because we bought a bunch of stuff uh we got a washi tape i think we got a charm as well that's all Hokotose. So yeah, this is one of the canvas pouches. I think this is, I'm sure this is um, the tote bag that goes with that. So yes. Really nice.
I got a Panam one, which I'm really happy about. When Kevin first got me my Traveler's Factory, this was the design that they had out. So I also have other accessories that are Panam. But when we went to the store, to the Traveler's Factory store, this is the only one that they have that's still Panam. So there's another tote. And this one, I really like trains. I don't know if I've mentioned it. I probably have. I mentioned it in another video when I got my um, Traveler's Train Factory what am I saying? Traveler's Train notebook. I really like trains. I'm happy that I finally was able to ride a bullet train when we went to Japan. So I'm really happy about all the train tote bags that I got. So here's another one. It's another tote. I think I got four totes in total. I also have this one that I showed you guys earlier. And this is another canvas pouch. I think it's smaller than the other one. I'm not sure whether... Yeah, this one's smaller. This one will probably fit the traveler's notebook snugly, but... I like it. Anyway, there's that. There's this. And finally, I have this one. I think this one is the most expensive out of all of them, but it's still not that expensive. If I remember correctly, it was about $15. 15 Canadian, so that's like I don't know, 13 US dollars. But it's a nice um, crossbody, I think, bag that can fit your, not only the passport size, but also probably the regular size. You can have that here as well. And then have all your tools on this one. It's a nice little canvas bag. I think this is one of my favorites. So that's it for all the canvas and canvas pouch and tote bags. Let's move on to what else is inside this paper bag. I know that there is a bunch of inserts. Let's see. So yeah, I have here some of the inserts I think that I bought. Some of them are basic and some of them are inserts that I can only get from the locations in Japan, which is really where the only Traveler's Factory stores are. Um, I have this one. I have no idea what it says. I'm pretty sure that we took out and stamped some of them already there. I'm not sure whether this is the one, but yeah. Some of these inserts are going to Kevin, who I mentioned earlier, recently bought his traveler's notebook not sure which ones are his. I also have this blank um, insert. I think I filled it up with stamps. There, I did. Um, I promised my best friend that I was gonna send her an insert with stamps from Japan. And these are the stamps. Love that one. Okay. 
Anyway, this I'm guessing is also Kevin's. It's a zipper case for his new Traveler's Notebook. We got two of these, uh, one for myself and one for Kevin. Got the 2023 monthly, also with the coffee and notebook theme. Got a short trip insert, which I'm planning to use for our Singapore trip because I'm definitely using one for Japan. I'm just not sure whether I'm using one uh, I'm using a passport size one or a regular size one, but this one might be for Singapore. I don't know. Have you guys tried doing a travel journal on a passport size? Because I don't think it's enough space. We also got this one. Uh, it says... Halcyo style paper. I do not know that, what that means. But the paper definitely is a different quality. Better than the regular ones. It's thin, but it's kind of textured. I don't know if you can see. Next one is this message card insert. I have a couple of B-sides and rarities, rarities um, inserts, but more for my passport size traveler's notebook. This one's really cute. They're letterpress as well. So it has a really nice texture. This is the 2023 um, Traveler's Notebook Underlay, underlay Plastic Sheet. Um, it's mostly used for when you're journaling standing up. So you have like a hard like backing for your paper. I don't really have a use for it. I never journal standing up. Um, but I couldn't resist the nice design that they have for this year. I also have it in passport size. Oh, I thought I did. Maybe I don't. Anyway, so that's that one. Okay. I also have this insert. I don't know what's special about it other than the fact that it says Tokyo on the front. Seeing the stamps, I'm probably thinking of using this as my journal for Tokyo, but I'm not sure. It has the visit pass stamp over here. Other than that, it's just a basic blank traveler's insert, traveler's notebook insert. Next is this one. It has a nice rose gold foil on the cover. I don't know. This will also make a nice journal, traveler, travel journal. But this one we got from the Kyoto location, so you can only get it from there. This is also one of the 2023 um, items that I got, and it's a folder. It also it also has the coffee and notebook theme on it. This is the monthly, but in regular size. I most likely have already opened this one. That's why it looks like this. What I like about, you can always get undated inserts, which they have, but what I like about the special like ones with the year on it is that they come with stickers for customizing the cover. I don't necessarily use them because I like keeping the stickers, but they're really pretty. Like this one here. 
That's that one. And the last one is the short trip. So the short trip refill, I think they come with less pages. Oh, it says it here. It's a refill for a short trip containing 32 pages, which is half of a regular, regular refill. So that's it for the inserts. Let's move on to whatever's left. Okay, see I'm right. I did get a folder for the password size. So it's similar to the one that I showed you earlier, which is the regular size folder. Just this one. Really like the moody design that they have going on for this year's theme. Still kind of like an old diner style. Let's put that aside. Okay. I also have a bunch of postcards. My husband Kevin, he collects postcards. He likes ones with nice like illustrations on it. So we got a couple. There actually weren't a lot to choose from. This one's pretty nice. <laughs> this is the Nakameguro location, which is, I think, their flagship store. Pretty. So we have that. We also bought a couple of charms. Here. We bought a couple of charms. I mentioned earlier that we bought a couple of stuff from the Hokotusei um, line. One of it one of the stuff that we got is this little charm. Very cute. I also like this backing paper. Most likely we'll use it in one of my journals. We also got a couple of other charms. The only charms that we got are the ones. I keep saying charms. It says here it's called brass tags. So we got a couple of brass tags. But these are the ones that you can only get in Japan. So this one, for example, is the Kyoto one. Really nice. Let's take it out. Very nice. Ignore my nails. We also got this one. It says... Let me take both out of their bags. This one is also from Kyoto. And I think this one we got from Nakameguro. It has the Mount Fuji on it. Very nice side. I also finally am able to get the brass clip which I've been wanting for a while now. I just couldn't justify the price but since I was traveling but since I was traveling it was the perfect time for me to finally purchase it. beautiful. We also got these um, limited edition charms and tags. These actually only come out during the holidays. Um, before I found out that we were going to Japan in November, December, I actually messaged a local store to see whether they're getting it. Um, and yeah, they didn't get it until this year. So I'm glad that I was able to go and purchase them there. like these polar bear ones. Let me take it out of the plastic so you can see. So cute! These are leather. There. We also got a charm. The same one, but in brass. 
Very cute. Probably one of my favorite purchases from the Traveler's Factory store. We also got some Panem stickers. I lied. I said earlier that the tote bag was the only one that they have that's Panem, but they actually also have these ones. Again, I probably will never use these unless Kevin uses them, which he probably will. Okay, let's see. Really cute. It has the kind of quintessential um, Traveler's Factory design wherein it's kind of retro. Oh, this one here is the Nakameguro location. Really nice. It has Philippines on it. This makes me so happy. Um, not the best picture, but still there. When I say that I'm going to keep all the backings for all these random stuff, I mean it. Because look how nice this is. Finally, we have these um, stamps. I don't think... Okay, these are not Traveler's Factory stamps, but we did get them from the Traveler's Factory stores because you can mail out, you can send out your mail through the Nakameguro location. So they sell their postage stamps and it's so nice. I collect these as well. Um, I'm noticing that we're missing something. It could be somewhere in my suitcases, my luggage, but Probably not, but we also got something from the Kyoto store, which are these ones. So normally they have this weighing scale that you can get these from, like a vintage weighing machine. Um, I'm glad that it wasn't working when we got there because I really don't want to find out what, what my weight is while traveling, but... They were able to sell us these ones. Pretty sure we got about three or five pieces of them and now I can find them. Thank you so much for joining me unbox this huge Traveler's Factory haul. Uh, visiting the Traveler's Factory stores in Japan has been a dream of mine for many years and finally being able to visit last December after quite a difficult year was just really wonderful for me and Kevin. So thank you for sharing in my joy. I hope that it was as much fun for you as it was for me. And I hope that you join me again next time, maybe as I journal about a recent Japan trip or whatever it is that I am doing in the future. I hope to see you there.